Tony B. I'm live and direct back at the tent embassy. This time I got here before it got dark. I wanted you to see the stuff I was trying to show you last night. All embassies are afforded protection from the United Nations. You are now entering or leaving the Australian Aboriginal tent embassy. Mother Earth law applies. Please have respect. Abusive behavior will not be tolerated. They've been here since 1972, y'all. They are living in tents right here. This is the part I didn't get to show you last night. This is the main, this is the white folks embassy. Now, over here, this is their embassy. They had to make their own embassy. I didn't get to show this to you last night because it was too dark. But it's not dark right now. This is the aboriginal flag right here. I'm going to walk up to it so you can see it. This is the aboriginal flag. I have it on my jacket. I had it upside down. I had it sold on right yesterday. <clears throat> aboriginal embassy. Decolonized now. They are literally living on the grass across from the embassy. Imagine that. Imagine that shit. Hold on. Hold on. I'm filming everything I can right now. Consecrated ground. It says consecrated crown. Do not cook on these grounds. They have a garbage can over here with the Aboriginal flag on it. I'm just going to show you all as much as I can before this sun sets. Because it was a long drive. I just want you to see as much as I can possibly show you. I'm racing against the sun right now. As you can tell, I'm talking to you, but it's getting darker as I speak. So I'm trying to show you as much as I can. It's a long drive from um, from um, Sydney. From, so here goes one of their campers. This is, this is where they live. This is where our, our Aboriginal brothers live. They live here. Because they have no embassy. So I just want to show you what's really going on. The tent embassy, this is where they live. They are living in tents. Hold on, I'm gonna go down the stairs. I, I wanna show you a couple more things <clears throat> before we run out of time, before we run out of light. Indigenous times. So they sell indigenous, no alcohol, dry camp, no alcohol. Oh, I didn't tell you the half of that. The Aboriginals are having the same problem that the Native Americans had in America with the fire water. See, the white man knows how to give them fire water, give original people fire water because they know our bodies aren't ready for it. So it makes us do all kinds of crazy, stupid shit. Sovereignty. Sovereignty. That's what's up. We want a treaty now. Hold on, I want to show you this sign. It says, we want a treaty now. I really wanted to show you. I wanted to show you straight up. We want a treaty now. Once again, they are living across from that big white building over there. See, and... America, Obama, Ob Obama got thrown into it. He should have did his research, but America partners and supports Australia. That means they support this. That means they support, well, we already know what all the other shit they support, but I just want to show you the hypocrisy. Hands off country. Ask, not take, and wait. That's what this sign says. I'm just showing you everything. These people, these beautiful indigenous brothers and sisters are living here. The aboriginals are living in tents right here. I'm losing light, but I'm trying to show you as much as I can. Big sign right here. Stop denying us our justice. 
stop denying us our justice. Sound familiar, y'all? We've heard this before. Yes, we have. It's getting really dark, y'all. But I'm trying to just show you. I am at the tent embassy. Showing you what KRS-One missed last night. And he should have came today. He should have came and just like, just meditated here. I wish I would have got here sooner. I just got out my car. Otherwise, I would have been here all day. Just meditating on the land. And connecting with this original indigenous energy. This is their fire. They've been burning this fire since they got here. It never goes out. They never let it go out. They make sure it burns. It burns and burns and burns continuously. Last night, the elders were sitting right around this circle right here when I got here. And I had to ask permission to come up and speak to them. So I gave them, I gave them respect. I asked the permission, came up and spoke to them. At least I got here today when it's a little bit lighter. Stop black deaths in custody. I hope you can see this. This is stop black deaths in custody. Don't that sound like what's happening to black people in America? Wait, hold up. Stop black deaths in custody. And they got big, some big letters. Sovereignty. Hold up. Do you see the parallels? Do you see them? Stop stealing our children. Hold on, I want you to see this. Stop stealing our children. Stop the intervention. Stop the lies. They've been going through this a long time. A long time they've been going through this same thing. Where's the Aboriginal security here? And we're doing business business again tonight. Hi. Who are you, brother? I was here last night and talked to you, remember? What's your name? Tony. Tony yeah. Be Conscious. I'm from America. Yeah, well, I'm a black flag from here, man. And we're, we're doing serious business here at the moment. Okay. Well, I just wanted to show... My, show the people in America in the light. Did you make a donation to us at all? I gave $50 last night. Not to us, you didn't. Well, I gave it to the, to the sister. No, she's not our sister. Well, I, I don't... She's not our sister, and we're here doing business. Okay, well... Okay, I understand. How you going, brother? How you doing, brother? You all right? Yeah, good. And it's good that you're giving a good rap on the mob back on there. Yeah, I want to show everybody. Oh, I mean... True. I, I, I'm still racing against the light, but um, you know. Yeah, but tell them the truth. Yeah. I want them. I want them to see it. That's the best weapon we got. I want them to see it. Now, how now for how many years has that fire been burning? Forty. Forty years? Yep. Forty years. Forty years they've been burning that fire, y'all. I'm losing light, but um, I wanted to show you before the sunset. And that your brothers and sisters you're talking to? Yes. And we're six thousand miles south, further than. Than Alabama, right? Six thousand times worse. See ya. Mm. So we can understand what's going on with your mob over there. Yes, indeed. But we still got hearts for our red brothers too. Yes, indeed. We wonder why um, you didn't have a red American president. Exactly. You know. Anyway, that's another story. Yeah, but that we love is. all you brothers over there, and you're all welcome in our country. Yes, indeed. That's why I'm here. It's all love. No worries. I think I've ran out of light, y'all. But oh, I hope that comes across, brother. But I wanted to show y'all just a little something. I got here just in time for you to actually see it. Now they live in these tents, they're still tents. Wherever you see lights around me, these are tents. While the White House is right there. So that's all I gotta say for now. I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I'll talk to y'all later, but I did come. I raced on the freeway to get here in time. It's a long drive from Sydney to Canberra to the capital, but I'm here. I'm out. I'll talk to you in a minute. Tony, be conscious. Live and direct from Australia. I love y'all. I love them. And this is why I do what I do. Peace.